Moment of truth though, if I burn the shrimp, I might have burnt the shrimp. A little bit hard. A little bit hard. It I'm sounds really hard. What's up guys? It's your boy CGG Gamer here coming at you guys today with a mukbang guys. That's right. I got another mukbang for you guys. So it's been a few weeks since I've done a mukbang guys. And uh, last night I posted a video on Instagram and I asked you guys if you wanted to see another mukbang. And uh, you guys replied yes. So this one is for you guys. Now I've been thinking about it all day. Uh, well, what I was going to cook and what I was going to do in this mukbang, guys. Um, and so after a few hours of thinking, I was just like, ah, oh, fuck it, guys. You know what? I'm just going to cook what I want to eat. And today, guys, I'm craving Japanese curry. So now, in order to cook Japanese curry, guys, you can't cook Japanese curry without this right here, guys. Now, sorry guys. Sorry if I clickbaited you in about cooking Japanese curry from scratch, guys. But tell you the truth, you can't cook jury Japanese curry from scratch. How do you cook Japanese curry? You need this, guys. This stuff is important. This is the sauce right here. Or the, the Japanese curry powder. Alright, now, first things first, guys. We're going to cook the rice. I got to cook rice, guys. No. So now... I've got two different types of rice here. I, I usually like to buy this one because it's in a smaller bag. I don't like to stock up on so much rice because I don't eat rice all the time. So I've got this, uh, it's like a, it, this is a Japanese sushi rice, guys. And I've also got basmati rice, all right? So what I like to do when I'm cooking my rice, guys, I actually like to uh, use half and half. So what I will do is I will, um, Pour in one and a half cup of this Japanese sushi rice right here, guys. And this will typically last me a couple days. I'll put the extra in the fridge. All right. So one and a half cups of this Japanese sushi rice right here. And then I will take um, one and a half cups of my best Maddie rice, guys. Now comment below, guys, if any of you guys uh, out there do this. Uh, Sorry guys, I don't know if you guys have heard it before, but I live very close to uh, the fire station and it's like every day those sirens go off guys, it's really annoying, but I'm sure you guys heard that, that was quite loud. Um, it, will, it will subside in a bit there guys. So now back, back on to topic guys, uh, comment below if any of you guys do this out there. I know I like to do it. Um, I like to mix half and half uh, Japanese sushi rice and half a basmati rice. I find that the sushi rice is very uh, sticky and fine. And uh, sometimes I don't like my, my rice so sticky. That was actually two cups, I only went half. I don't like my rice so sticky. So what I like to do is I actually like to mix it with the basmati rice. And when it cooks, it comes out like the perfect texture, guys. All right, so that's that. We're gonna put it back away for now. Now we want to rinse this rice in the water. Uh, just get some of that starch out of there, guys. And then we'll drain the water and then we'll add the, the right amount of water back in there, guys. I don't know, this is just the way that I've been taught to cook rice, guys. Like, you don't just cook it right off, you gotta rinse it and you gotta get that, like, that starchy, starchy texture off the grains. And then once you get that rice nice and clean, then uh, you're ready to go when you put it on the put it on the burner. Get all that starchy water drained out there. Okay. And three cups, one and a half cup of uh, Japanese sushi rice. And one and a half cup of the fast maddie rice. So three cups of water to match our rice in there, guys. Go. Oh. Make sure our our cooking vessel pot rice cooker pot is uh, dry. And leveled. And in the rice cooker it goes, guys. Alright. 
All right, guys, so now that we've got our rice uh, in our uh, rice cooker, the meat, guys. So I was thinking long and hard of what meat I was going to eat with my curry today, guys. And I really wanted to cook beef, but I know a lot of you guys are from India. And I know in India, a lot of you guys don't eat beef. So I decided in today's episode, guys, we're going to do chicken and we're going to do shrimp. Now, the curry chicken I'm cooking today, guys, is a curry chicken katsudon. So it's a Japanese style. So what we've got is I've got breaded frozen chicken fillets. And, guys, I've got tempura shrimp EB, guys, right here. So we're going to cook this, and this is what we're going to eat with our curry sauce, guys. Now, I'm going to grab some tin foil from up here. And we'll preheat the oven right now to 425. And we're going to be baking for about 18 minutes or so, guys. Oops, that is not the tin foil. All right, guys, so these are all, this is all step by step on how to cook a uh, Japanese curry, guys. Um, take notes, guys, because you're, uh, I'm giving it to you guys uh, raw right here, guys. All right, guys, so now we've got our tinfoil out. We're going to grab one of our um, breaded chicken breast fillets right here. As you can see here, this is our frozen chicken breast right here. And we're going to put that back in the freezer, guys. And then we're going to open up our bag of tempura shrimp, guys. Now, I'm super excited for this. I've been craving this one all day. I, when I saw this at the supermarket, I was like, yes, I'm buying that right now, guys. And this is going to be perfect with a curry sauce, guys. All right, so maybe... Let's see, we'll do one chicken filet and we'll grab five of these little shrimpies right here. Alright, let's spread them out more nicely. We'll spread out nice. Nice, put that back in the freezer, guys. Get a twist tie on this. Twist tie, we got a twist tie around here. Gee. I just got poked with one of the with one of the tails went right through the bag, guys. All right, guys, so now that we've got our chicken breast and our uh, tempura shrimp in the oven, guys, we're going to talk to Siri and we're going to get Siri to get us a timer of 18 minutes. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Siri's not listening. Hey, Siri. Siri's not programmed on the iPad, guys, and we're recording with the iPhone, so we might be in a little bit of trouble here, guys. Hey, Siri. Guys, Siri's not talking to me. All right. Unfortunately, we can't get Siri, guys, so we're going to have to get the timer. We're going to manually have to find the timer in here. And we're going to set our time for 17 minutes now, guys, since we've already been trying to lag in for a minute. So 17 minutes, guys. And our timer is set right there. And all we can do now is wait, guys. I'm so hungry. Don't worry, we're gonna get it going, guys. And uh, five minutes in, we're gonna we're gonna start stirring in our curry sauce, and then we're gonna get that in.
All right, guys. So it looks like everything's cooked. I was busy uploading videos and then all the timers went off and everything was already cooked. So we've got everything cooked, guys. Uh, we're gonna prep it, I'm gonna put it on the table and then we're gonna sit down and we're gonna eat, guys. So give me, give me one second, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So um, sorry you guys had to watch that. I'm a mess. I was trying to upload videos and then all the timers went off. Everything was done. I almost burnt the chicken and the shrimp. We, and I forgot to make the sauce still, guys. So we're going to make the sauce now. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the, we're going to turn the stove on. We're going to get one cup of water in here. I think one cup of water is going to do it, guys. Okay. We're going to get one cup of water in here. Um, let's go one and a half. Or one, one and a quarter, guys. Okay. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. It looks a little low. Okay. Got our water. We're gonna boil that, guys. And we're gonna open up our our Japanese curry sauce here. And I'm gonna take one cube and we're gonna throw one cube in there, guys. And that's gonna be our sauce that we're gonna cover up our bowl right now. Let's get our bowl out. And Rosie just came home, guys, with Subway, and I was like, I'm cooking curry. <laughs> and she's like, but I'm so hungry, I want to eat my Subway, then I'm going to run to yoga. And I was like, okay. Well, it's kind of a good thing because we didn't make enough for Rosie anyway, guys. We only made enough for ourselves. <laughs> oh, well. Now, we can get our rice in the bowl. Sorry guys, I wish I was a little bit more prepared here. I was doing like a million things at once and then all the timers went off and I was like, oh no, everything's gonna burn. Should be good. Take our chicken, guys. <laughs> what? And I got my shrimp. Hopefully, I didn't burn that, guys. It looks like it was good. It said 18 minutes, though. So small. Right, let's, let's cut our chicken down to little bite-sized pieces here. guys there you have it there it's our bowl right there and the curry sauce good question Rosie the curry sauce is coming but we need to heat up our water first Rosie's not eating guys she's been going to yoga every day and she's just eating bananas and yogurt Sorry guys, I'm a mess. This is supposed to be a mukbang, but I'm so distracted right now. I forgot to make the sauce. So we're making the sauce right now. What are you doing? And I hope the sauce is gonna turn out good. <laughs> we're live right now. They, I, I posted a post on Instagram last night and I said, do you guys want to see another mukbang? And everyone commented that they wanted to see a mukbang. So we're doing a mukbang today guys. And we need to go with Two cubes, guys. Okay. All right, guys. So the curry sauce is finally cooked, guys. I just cooked the sauce separately. As you can see here, I've got my chicken and my shrimp and my bowl, guys, with my rice. And we're going to put the sauce on top, guys. I'm usually not this uh, distracted and bad, guys. This one was pretty brutal. I had like a million things going on at once. But in the end, guys, I think this is gonna be worth it. I'm hungry. You want some curry sauce in your Subway? What? 
Ranked. So I'm trying something out new guys. I got the camera like uh, up on the tripod just further than the table. So as you notice this, this mukbang is actually a lot better. A lot better than the previous ones were like super close. Um, I figured out a way to get the whole table going guys. Uh, let me see if I can fix it that way we can get a better view of the table guys. Rosie just made this face like, oh my god, this is the best sandwich I'm eating. And I'm kind of jealous. It does look like a good sandwich, guys. You want an egg? No. <laughs> I got my curry. Mmm. Okay. No, oh my god. It was worth it, guys. It was worth it, guys. Moment of truth, though, if I burned this shrimp, I might have burned the shrimp. A little bit hard, a little bit hard. It I'm sounds a, really hard. I'm a little upset because, see, the chicken fillets were already cooked, so those only take five to ten minutes to cook. But when I read the package on the shrimp, it said eighteen minutes, so I just put it. I put it all together, and I was thinking the chicken was going to be burnt and the shrimp was not, but it turned out the shrimp got burnt and the chicken was cooked perfect, guys. Right. I don't know what happened there. Mm-hmm. You want yoga now? Yeah. Okay. Later. See you later. Yeah. Mm. Also, can I borrow your umbrella? Sure. Thank you. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more sauce, guys. A little bit more sauce for that shrimp. Unfortunately, the shrimp turned out a little bit hard. Um, the rice needs to get a little bit more sauce on the bottom there. Other than that, the, the sauce is perfect though, guys. That sauce, I mean, you cannot make Japanese curry without this, guys. This this stuff right here, this stuff is like, this golden box is magic, guys. Mm. I'm really craving this thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Get one of those shrimp in there. Mm. Besides the fact that it was a little overdone, it's still good, guys. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. One time right here, guys. Take it out. So our curry infused Japanese tempura, guys. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. all right guys well that's gonna end this episode here guys um i'm gonna finish my food um other than that i got a, a whole bunch of other editing to do so i'm hope i hope you guys enjoyed that one i mean uh i did this one for you guys because you commented in the comments on instagram and said that you you want to see a mukbang guys so here it is um other than that we got a few more videos i'm uh, popping off tonight i'm gonna get this one off tonight i believe um, right after I finish eating and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.